Episode number one, air tank bumper. Okay, so the whole idea behind this was to have a bumper that could support my 30-foot trailer so I can change out the ball to whatever, 2 and 5 sixteenths, um, and hold air as a, t a tank for the compressor. I've got three holes running through it. I've got the wiring for the trailer, and I've got the actual where the trailer hitch goes all the way through, hooks to the frame underneath, and then the winch. It's just like a little 25, 35 pound winch, but it's great for pulling uh, cars up on trailers, sand rails. Um, so the winch actually is mounted into the bumper, and so is the compressor. So I also have a little gauge here that tells you how much pressure is in the tank, and then the output for the tools, which are all in here. So I can, this is my dirty box, so I can you know, put my gloves on, recovery gear, everything's in there, and tools. So if you're ever robbing the house, I've got my snap-ons in there, and I usually don't lock it. Um, and then the compressor, like I said, it's back here, and it's got an input into the tank. So from inside, I can turn the compressor on and off. I don't know how much air is in it from up there, but the compressor cuts out, I think, at 120. So um, let me show you how I did and built it key behind this bumper is, unlike these bumpers, this is just normal sheet metal that uh, has all been formed together and then ground down. This bumper is going to be, it's a DOM, it's six inch by I think quarter DOM and it's going to be an air tank. And the problem is, is I've got a winch that's got to go through here and a trailer hitch receiver that's got to go through here. So, the trailer hitch receiver is going to go here, and I can't get it into shot. And then over here, I'm going to do another hitch receiver where the winch is actually going to go through. So this is actually going to be a sealed tank. Side note, whenever you're plasma cutting, always be sure you have your project right next to a Rolls Royce. Because nothing says you're stupid than getting a car on fire like that. Um... Okay, so I didn't want to have these ugly welds, um, but it turns out you had to chase them. I had to run, I had to run the outer one, the inner one, and then one in the middle to try and get them. And then even then, I had to add little dots here and there. But you see, we're holding 60 psi. Um, like I said, so on this, this is where the winch is going to come through. This is the two-inch receiver. And actually, this was a stupid thing to do because this is the one that leaked more. This is for just the wiring for the trailer to go through. And then on this side, I've got the gauge, you know, obviously protected. And I've got a uh, got a little fitting. And then on the other side, same thing, a fitting that'll go to the compressor. So that's that.